Brain steroids. Are smart drugs dumb? Everyone comes to this channel interested in getting bigger, faster, and stronger. Today, we're gonna to talk about how can you get smarter with these smart drugs? Let's move out of the biceps and into the brain. Everyone knows that biceps and muscle tissue are intimately related to neurologic tissue of the brain. We know so much about growing big, fast, strong muscles, performance enhancing drugs. We know all this from the chin down. What's going on for steroids in the brain? This is a new study called Neuroenhancers, also called biohacking. Who's using these drugs? From organic chemistry students at UCLA, to Silicon Valley executives, to the common man. More and more people are using these agents. They're looking to sharpen their minds, increase and retain more memory, stay more focused, become better problem solvers, read better, read faster, retain more, speak better, become more influential at work, be more motivated, optimistic, be more creative, if you can imagine, sell more things and be more sexy. These drugs are CNS stimulants. There are two drugs. Drug number one, modafinil. It's a stimulant of the central nervous system. The FDA has approved it for three things. Narcolepsy, obstructive sleep apnea, hypopnea condition, and shift work sleep disorder. This pill has been called the genius pill. It's been used off-label by lawyers, doctors, pilots, scientists, and students who want to increase and enhance their memory and learning. It definitely can work. There's a lot of studies, there's anecdotal data that it does these things, makes you sharper, memory appears to get better, your performance goes up, you may sell more things, you may feel high, but does it make you overall more smart? The answer is no way. I don't think so. How can it? Does it change your IQ? I don't think so. It would be great if you can take a pill and have this sustainable and be a genius and be smarter and be a better person and just get more things done. It's kind of like with anabolic steroids. So take steroids, build muscle tissue. Do you think it's gonna work? Of course it's gonna work. Are there side effects? Of course there are side effects. Do you think you're gonna be Mr. Olympia or the top powerlifting champ in the world? No way. You gotta put the work in. There's genetics. It's the same thing here. Think about it. There are significant side effects of these drugs. With modafinil, classic side effects we've known and I've seen as a physician for years. Anxiety, reflex depression, mania. If you have any bipolar depression and any mania, this drug is gonna be a nightmare. Withdrawal dependence, cardiac issues, hypertension, palpitations, rarely, arrhythmias, benign arrhythmias that will send you to the ER with palpitations, SVT, atrial fibrillation, atrial flutter, and rarely heart attacks, and even more rare but significant ventricular rhythms that can lead to sudden cardiac death. Next medicine and classic medicine, another CNS stimulant, old school, methylphenidate, Ritalin, dextroamphetamine, Adderil, two drugs, both for ADD and narcolepsy, very similar clearance from the FDA with modafinil. These drugs absolutely work for focus and attention. I'm gonna be honest, in medical school, for big, big tests, I took some of these drugs, Ritalin, a little bit of Ritalin, I chew it right out of my pocket with glucose tablets for the brain. It worked on some of those big tests, there's no question. No question at all. I felt like my IQ was up there with Albert Einstein. I couldn't believe it. But I'll tell you this, I crashed afterwards. 
I had some anxiety. Thank God I didn't have to go to the ER, but I felt horrible. I was exhausted and I had the post crash. So there's no way you could use these drugs consistently and regularly for this type of activity. Side effects for these methylphenidate stimulants and Adderall drugs. Heart, tachycardia, that's where the heart is cranking that can end up sending you into the ER with palpitations and a panic attack. Hypertension, anxiety, mania, dependence and addiction and withdrawal as these drugs are controlled as per the FDA because of their addiction. What are alternatives to these drugs as there's no way these drugs are consistently sustainable? There are supplements that do work. Old school supplements, they're called nootropics, all these big fancy words. Caffeine, it obviously works. Does it work as well as Ritalin? Let's be honest, no way. But it has minimal side effects for most people and it's well tolerated and you can take it regularly. But this is low dose caffeine. If you take the pre-workout amounts up to 500 milligrams of caffeine, woo, you may end up in the ER and you may end up suffering some significant side effects. Let's get some comments on this stuff, guys. Ginkgo biloba, GABA, anastazole, choline, ubiquinol, and creatine, absolutely, and fish oil derivatives, L-theanine. Now, if you look at these, and don't try all these together, let's give comments. I love alternative medicine. I wanna learn from you guys. I wanna learn from the other experts in the world. These things can work if they're put together properly by yourself with a caring physician. In the end of the day, I think the most important way to stay smart and sustainable is to get great sleep. Because when you sleep great and you wake up, you feel like you're a genius, you're attentive. Everyone knows it. You wake up and you feel great. So anything that relates to sleep is going to work. So clean up your life. Get that sleep hygiene. Check out sleep hygiene. See what that is. Google that. Exercise. High intensity interval training. That's what I do. It really works. And then in the end, meditation. Um, absolute truth of meditation. Less is more. When I did my research for these smart drugs, I found out on documentaries that the real way to stay sustainable and well and sharp with your memory and creativity is to sleep well and to shut off dangerous and chaotic thoughts that ruminate. Get a great history and physical exam. My app is gonna help you do this. Check out your health from A to Z with an expert. Look at your heart. Look at your mental performance and your psychiatric depression and anxiety. Look at the medicines you're taking, drugs and alcohol. Understand the synergy. Understand all these things together. And again, testosterone can be so important. It seems like testosterone for the right man can absolutely be the most sustainable, wonderful CNS drug in the world. Let me see comments. Get it going, guys. Drop down the comments. Let's see it. To conclude, the approach to improving overall brain function and success sustainable in life is gonna be something that you could look at organically. Cut out the chaos of your life. Get healthy. Remove the stress and be more genius. I really hope this helps everyone. Thank you so much.